start by saying, this is by far the best light I have seen in my professional career. First, let's do an unboxing. This can all pack in a big box and on it, a lot of white boxes. Now, Chiyun has been very, very generous with this light. Okay, let's now take a look at what really matters, which is the light itself. It comes in this beautiful carrying case that it has a lot of protection. It's very nicely padded. We have the battery, and look at how nice that looks. I'm so excited about this one. And I guess that's the light. Can, can't believe it, look at that. It literally can fit on the palm of my hand so small and it's also so lightweight that's a 100 watt light yeah we also have a tiny reflector for it we have the ac charger with a pretty long cable we have a strap so you can have this like on your neck we have the service car and user guide and we also have a bag a ball head a mini dome light diffuser, a mini softbox, and we also have a Chiyu Mont 2 Bowens Mont adapter, a mini tripod, and also a bracket to mount multiple lights together. And why not? An extension pole. Okay, guys, so this light is really, really small. It's tiny. Well, let me show you actually right here on my pocket and the battery the code for it is on my other pocket this is just incredible and boom you're ready to shoot that's it a hundred watt light now i'm kind of like a a guy with a lot of experience i've been shooting photography since the year 2009 so yeah, it's been a long time. I don't remember moving these huge, heavy lights around the studio. I can't believe that we come to this. 100 watt light. That is this big. Now, the reason why this is such a big deal for me is because I've been traveling a lot lately, even during COVID. And for me, having a light that is easy to carry around and very powerful, meaning I can shoot uh, let's say an interview, a professional video with two or three of these, that's about it. And with batteries. So the reason this is impressive is because, like I said, I like to travel and I like to keep my gear very small. Let me show you. This is a light stand. This is the one that can include it with the Chiyun light, which in a way it kind of doesn't make any sense to have such a big, heavy light stand. This probably you can buy it for like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks. Now, this is a lightweight stand. Um, it's much smaller and it's okay. It costs somewhere around the same, maybe a little bit more. And this is the lightest, smallest light stand that you can get. It costs somewhere around $100. So it's a lot more expensive, but look how small and lightweight it is. You can see, I don't get to spend a lot of money if the gear is light and small. Now, look at my tripod. This is my carbon fiber Lennon LTS-3. Pretty big, very fancy carbon fiber, magnesium alloy, but it's big, not easy to carry around. Now, this is a travel tripod. Aluminum and it's small, not bad. And this is my Olanzo Common. So I'm okay to have something like this, carbon fiber, small and lightweight. And even the same can be said about my lenses. These are my big pro lenses. They're kind of big and heavy, but the ones I actually use, they're pretty small. This is a 16 millimeter RF f2.8, and this is the 85 f1.8. And the one I actually use every single day is the RF 35 f1.8. So whenever I have a chance, I will always use the smallest and lightest. What's bring me back to this light? It is really small and lightweight. I mean, it literally fits on my pocket, fits on the palm of my hand. And just for reference, here it is next to a lazy hard disk. You can see it's about the same size. Here it is next to my iPad mini. If I put it behind, it will completely disappear. It's that small. And here it is next to my iPhone 14 Pro. It's about the same size as my phone. Not only the same size, the thickness is not much difference either. 
And I can tell you, it's really lightweight. It's somewhere around like, I don't know, two or 300 grams. I can barely feel the weight on it. I mean, I can't believe this is a 100 watt light. Now let's take a closer look. Okay, here is the light. And it's not just a small, but it's very well designed too. So it is mostly made of plastic, but we can see here how it's, the plastic is transparent. You can actually see the all the parts inside the cables and that makes it looks really, really cool. We have what I believe is a heat sink here on the side and the light itself here at the front. Then we have two knobs here on the side and the knobs seems to be made of, I don't know, they're metal or plastic, but it looks really nice with a red ring. We have two of them, they click. Can you hear the clicks? So you know what you're doing, even if you are not behind the light to see the LCD screen. They not only click, they also, you can push in for some quick settings. Now on the back, we can see here the branding, Molus. And here is the brand of the company, Chiyun. We have the power on and off button. And we have a huge fan here on the back. Now, you may be thinking being so small is my overheat a lot. And I guess it does, but you never get to experience that because the fan keeps it extremely cool and is super quiet. We're gonna test that out in a moment. Then we have a quarter 20 here, another one here, uh, a place to put a strap here on the side. And let's take a look now uh, uh, here is another place to, to put the strap so you can hang it off to your neck. So you have on both sides and you can just hand the light. Then here at the bottom, we have a rubber port and then we have the DC uh, adapter so you can plug in your DC power and the Type C. So you can also charge this light with Type C. And this is also good for firmware upgrades. So you can actually <laughs> upgrade the firmware on this light. Pretty phenomenal. And here on the side, I already removed the rubber port and this is the battery connector and this is the battery connector release. And then we also have a space here to, to have other straps. So you can strap it one way or the other. And the design is not only beautiful, it's also very clever. Once you mount the battery and the reflector, it resembles an old analog camera. I guess that's what an old analog camera sounds like. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, but how about the quality of the light itself? Well, this is CRI 97 plus. So the quality is just as close as you can get from perfection. It is very good. You will never see any weirdness on the skin. I mean, you're looking at it right now. It looks beautiful, aren't it? We also have a full CCT. So you can adjust according to your white balance in your camera and the lights in your environment. And we also have a LCD screen to dial very accurately the white balance and the intensity. For some people, 100 watts might not be enough. That's why they included a rack in which you can mount two lights, one next to each other, and now you have a 200 watt light. Look at that. That was just 2%. <laughs> it's very bright. The other thing is what I'm showing here. The diffuser so they have their own chiyu mount so it's not a balance mount like you will expect on any other light but the reason that they don't do a balance mount is because look at this this is a balance mount adapter and it's basically bigger than the light itself almost <laughs> so you know if you have some balance reflectors or diffusers that you would like to mount into this light well it can include it with it with an accessory that you can already use so you mount this into the light and then your diffuser with the balance mounts into here and this is very good quality and it also have a pass-through umbrella here so you can put an umbrella now they included diffusers but they're kind of funny they're very small right look at this cone reflector and the dome lamp uh, they're pretty small right they do an okay work but i would like to see something bigger they also sent me this and i love the design but yet again this looks kind of funny it is very very small as a matter of fact right now i'm using one of these on my key light in combination with an umbrella and i think that's a pretty good solution instead of using this adapter to to do the pass-through umbrella, what I'm using is a very small adapter, so I can pack everything really small. I can literally pack my camera 
trio is light, this reflector, and a couple of umbrellas, all in one backpack, with all my lenses. I mean, the small prime lenses that I have. So I can literally go into a pro shoot with a tripod, lights, reflectors, everything, even my light stand in a backpack. That is something that I could only dream about like 12 years ago when I started as a professional photographer and filmmaker. Now, there is more because it doesn't end here. Let me show you something really cool. The lights can connect with Bluetooth. So I can go here, I need to turn it on first. So now the light is on. You can see I can change. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna point it in a different direction. So you can see here the intensity and with my phone, I can just control the intensity, turn it off, change the different temperature. I can also control all the lights as a group. So I can change all at the same time or one uh, at each time individually. So, like I said at the beginning, this is the best light I've ever seen and I freaking love it. Uh, I'm definitely keeping all three of them. Uh, and thanks to you so much for sending these lights for testing. And if you like these lights, links in the description down below make sure to buy them uh, like i said before there isn't any problem with it i mean whatever i say that is good is actually good the only one thing that i wish children will do different is that these batteries can only be purchased as together with the light and you cannot purchase individual batteries so if you want to buy a light and three batteries well Currently, that's not possible. Another thing that I would like to see from Chiyun in the future is bigger diffusers because these are kind of funny, small. Uh, it's okay, I understand the light is small, so they have small diffusers, but that's not how it really works in the real life. You need bigger diffusers, regardless of how small the light is. So they need to come with a solution in which the diffuser can pack small, but place big. So, I don't know, something like, like the umbrella, something that it can like pop, so it's very slim and then you pop it and it covers a lot. Okay, that's about it. Like I say, it's just the best light ever. Don't forget the links, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and blah, 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 blah. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.